my life as a result of that decision that was made. Um, and I'm, I know that I met a lot of family donors that had that same desire to meet the recipient, uh, to have a feeling of continuance from their loved ones. Uh, I think that if these two desires are mutual, then there should be an option available at some point in time for the family to meet the uh, recipient. And I think it would also be an incentive to, to, uh, uh, for people to sign their, their donor cards and families to carry out that wish, uh, knowing that there might be an opportunity to meet the uh, recipient at some point in time. Uh, so basically, I, 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 I'm not stopping here, it's not an, an ending, uh, because I, we have plans to walk across uh, Canada in May of 2000. And we'll be doing this in 500 days because we want to make sure that we reach every single community uh, across the uh, country. And uh, we will, at that point, uh, have hundreds of organizations that are going to be involved with us carrying the torch from day to day, uh, you know, and, and, and letting all of Canada know that uh, we, we could be uh, doing a lot better in this country and, and have more lives around. And, and, and you know, interest more people such as Dalton here that, that took the time to come out here today to 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 acknowledge what we were doing. Um, you know, this is all in, in, a, in a positive, right direction. And uh, um, I'm, I'm, you know, we at, at Step by Step are very determined to keep uh, going in this direction and, and, and doing something about like this. Uh, thank you for attending here, and I'll put you to our chairperson, John Hyde. Thanks, George. John. Thank you, Donald. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to make a couple of quick points, if I may, to add to what uh, George has already said this morning. Uh, first of all, like most Canadians, I knew almost nothing about organ transplants until I discovered that I was going to need one. And uh, I like to think that I uh, was probably typical in that I never, ever imagined that I could need an organ transplant. I never smoked, I drank very little, I exercised faithfully looked after my health, and I thought that I was a pretty healthy guy. But I picked up a bug on a trip to a foreign country, and it wound up affecting my system in such a way that the next thing I knew, uh, I needed a liver transplant, and I was about to die from a disease that there was no treatment for other than a transplant. Now, frankly, that scared the heck out of me, because I believed, as I think a lot of Canadians do even to this day, that organ transplants were a tremendously risky operation, that the likelihood of surviving it was very low, and even if you did, you weren't going to have much of a lifestyle afterwards. All of that is completely wrong. In fact, the success rate on organ transplants today is over 90%. And I think George and I stand as pretty good witnesses to the kind of lifestyle that you can experience after a successful transplant. I'm back playing old-timers hockey. George just walked 2,000 kilometers around the province of Ontario. I think that those represent pretty healthy people. So we really want to get this message out. George and I met last year. Both of us felt this same incredible desire and determination to try to do something to improve the situation we have here in Canada, which is most unfortunate. For this country, one of the leaders of this world in terms of our lifestyle, in terms of our standard of living, in terms of almost every accomplishment that we measure in this world, to be second from the bottom in all of the developed worlds in terms of the numbers of organs that we donate, is just shameful in my mind. I'm sorry. I got to know a number of people as I was waiting for my organ who didn't make it, who died. A young mother, three small children, and she didn't make it because an organ didn't come along in time. Another gentleman who had the same disease as me, who was a minister, who had devoted his entire life to helping others, who was just a great individual, and Lou didn't make it either. And that leaves you with a, with a feeling, a determination, a commitment that you've got to do something. You've got to improve upon the situation. And the opportunity is there for all of us to do that. It's so simple. It's so easy. And yet so many of us are failing to do it. And it means that others are dying. And it's at a time when we're not going to need the organs anymore. We're simply going to go into the ground and be wasted. And one person's donation of their organs can save four to five lives of others. It's just that incredible. So what, an, what a tremendous opportunity we've got. Spain did it. Spain as a country went from the same kind of organ donation rate that Canada is at today. They, in the past five years, they've almost, almost quintupled their organ donation rate. And we can do it in Canada, and that's what we have to do.